What began as a tropical depression near Pompeii has evolved into a Category 5 super typhoon with sustained winds of up to 160 miles per hour. The super typhoon has ravaged islands including Chuk and Yap, with the eye passing over the atoll of Ulithi at 12 a.m. Wednesday. Reports from the islands have been minimal. Executive Director of the Azuta Foundation, Carlotta Leon Guerrero. Manny reports that uh, he got off the uh, radio this morning with Woli Eye. He reported that five is okay, all persons are accounted for. In uh, Ulithi, only Mog Mog has been up on the radio so far, so um, and in that initial report is that many houses were uh, damaged and a lot of trees are down. So uh, it's the same story that we're hearing uh, from, from the other islands uh, in Chuk, is a lot of damage, uh, crop, uh, crop trees and uh, plants are destroyed and so uh, water wells and uh, coconuts blown away. Although the typhoon warning for Ulithi was lifted at 11 a.m. this morning, a damage assessment has yet to be conducted on the islands that range 12 to 30 feet above sea level. Pacific Missionary Aviation Chief Financial Officer Melinda Espinosa. We are waiting for the uh, weather to clear in Yam and tomorrow the first flight out will be to Ulithi to assess the damage. This flight will provide the first detailed damage assessment of the islands. Telecommunication and Distance Education Operation Associate Director Manny Hechinova confirmed the last radio communication was at 3.30 p.m., in which the Ulithi island of Mogmog reported damages but no known injuries. Thirst, uh, food, uh, medical supplies, clothing, building materials, these are the same consistent items that we're hearing all the way through of what is needed. The Aduda Foundation plans to send out two 40-foot containers to Chuk and Yap by next week Tuesday, as well as the medical mission boxes that were donated by the Bank of Guam and will be flown in by United. Chuk has declared a state of emergency as of Monday with five confirmed deaths as well as extensive damage. Yap has yet to declare a state of emergency, but Leon Guerrero said it is anticipated. But it doesn't end there. We're seeing it being uh, tracking towards uh, northern Luzon in the Philippines. As of 1 p.m. this afternoon, Super Typhoon Masik was 115 miles north-northwest of Yap and moving west-northwest toward the Philippines at 13 miles per hour. The storm is weakening slightly and could reach the Philippines as soon as Sunday. If you would like to donate, you can contact the Azuta Foundation at 473-3003 or PMA at 646-6464. Reporting for Guam News Network, I'm Issa Baza.